this video we'll talk about mid-side processing in Logic Pro. First let's select some sounds. Now we can go to Inspector and add Multimeter. It will help us to analyze the stereo image of the sounds we are about to listen to. Now pay attention to where the audio is positioned. As we can see our bass drum is positioned right in the middle and it's in mono. Percussion on the other hand is spread to the left and right. And there is a way to process the center and side signals of the stereo track separately. Unlike traditional mono or stereo processing which affects the entire signal. Now let me show you how it works. Let's add a reverb. But instead of using stereo mode we're going to use dual mono. Now let's go to settings. Here we can switch between stereo and mid side processing. Now let's go to mid. As you remember our bass drum is placed right in the middle, so we can keep it completely dry. And the percussion is spread to the sides, so we can process it individually. Now let's listen to it. As you can hear the bass drum is not affected and we apply reverb only to the sides. Technically any plugin in Logic Pro can be used in this mode. For example you can use compressor or a delay effect to do some sound design or enhance your stereo image. Next let's try something else. This time we're going to use EQ. The most common form of mid-side processing is EQ. Mid-side EQ allows you to isolate different frequency ranges at the center or side of your mix. First let's switch stereo to mid-side processing. In this mode EQs can be used to add depth to your mix by focusing your EQ adjustment on a specific point in the stereo image, creating more space and isolation between each instrument. Also you can enhance the width by boosting the high end on the sides. Mid-side processing is a versatile mixing and mastering technique. When used correctly, it has the power to make your tracks sound wider, deeper and more focused. 